because I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So if this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I'm Veggie Rose. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It looks like this. So you'll be notified every time I post a new video because, like I said, it's every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And Saturdays are sweet Saturdays. And sweet Saturdays, I post some sort of vegan treat or vegan dessert of some kind. So you don't want to miss it. So don't forget to press it. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Anyways, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a chocolate cake with peanut butter buttercream. It's going to be so rich and delicious. It's going to be like a Reese's peanut butter cup in a cake form kind of thing. That's how it's going to, um, oh my goodness. Anyways, <laughs> let's get ready. So let's get started. So we're going to go ahead and start off with our dry ingredients. So first thing that I'm going to be adding into our uh, mixing bowl, and I'm using my uh, stand mixer mixing bowl. Um, not that I'm going to use the stand mixer to mix this dough, because I'm just going to use my hand, but whatever. Anyways, so uh, <laughs> that was awkward. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Two cups of sugar, and if you're thinking that that's a lot of ingredients, like in big quantities, we're making a big cake. It's going to be, you know, like a nice little stacked cake. If you've seen the picture in the thumbnail, then you already know what I'm talking about. Obviously, you've seen the picture, right? And then we're also going to be adding in two-thirds of a cup of uh, unsweetened cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to go ahead and mix this all together. Alright, so now that this is all nice and combined, we're going to go ahead and move on to our dry ingredients. And for our wet ingredients, I like to sort of like mix the wet ingredients first and then toss it into the mix. So the first thing that we have here are two cups of cold water, two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. You want an oil that is like pretty flavorless. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And below I'll have a recipe of a smaller version of this cake, if you're interested, um, along with like the regular size that I'm making here. I also have two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And I'm just going to mix that up. And then add it into our dry mix. Of course, we're going to go ahead and mix this all together. Just make sure that if you're making a big batch like I am, that you're getting all the way to the bottom here. And you want to like mix just enough that you don't see like all the dry ingredients showing through, but you don't want to over mix it. If you over mix your cake, you'll just end up with really, really dense cake in the end. All right, and next I have two uh, cake pans here. And I believe these are 10 inch uh, cake pans. Um, and we're going to go ahead, I've already greased these up with um, a bit of vegan butter. And next I'm just going to be um, tossing around some flour in our pans to make it much easier for us to remove these from our actual pan. I'm just adding a little more and we're going to do the same thing to this guy. And what's next, we're going to go ahead and fill these guys up. So we're doing about half and half. I mean, that's what you want. You want half and half, but of course, it's probably not going to be perfect, but you don't have to measure it to be half and half, but we're going to do half in each. And then we're going to do it a quick tap tap. And we're going to go ahead and place both of these into the oven. It's been preheating at 350 degrees, and these are going to go in for 30 minutes or until a toothpick, a toothpick comes out clean from the center. You guys, I did not realize that my camera was not running, but let me just catch you up. Here I have one cup of creamy peanut butter, one cup of vegan softened butter, and three cups of uh, powdered sugar, and this is going to be for our uh, buttercream, and uh, the link will be down below for the full recipe. So we're just going to go ahead and mix this up until it becomes nice and creamy. And this looks good like this, um, but I realized um, from making buttercreams from, with different vegan butters that different vegan butters 
um, might be a thicker um, or harder than others. So if you feel like it's still too dry, you can add a little tiny bit of almond milk a little bit at a time until it becomes uh, this frosting, icing consistency. And if it's too liquid, you can add a little bit more uh, powdered sugar. You see the consistency that um, Mize has where it holds itself, but uh, it's not like super stiff. And as you can see, you can still kind of like decorate your cake if you wanted to a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and place this into the fridge only because I'm waiting for our cake to finish baking. Alright guys, so we've taken this out of the oven and I put it into the fridge and I let it cool off completely. Make sure the bottom is not hot at all, um, not even warm. And I went ahead and just like ran a skewer around the edges and I'm going to tap, tap, tap. And if you use like the, the flour method, um, you'll have a little bit of you know flour around, but it's not a big deal. You're gonna go ahead and frost it anyways. And next, we're just gonna go ahead and cut this guy in half. And I'm using a serrated knife, like what you would use to cut bread. And just doesn't have to be like perfectly perfect, but get it as straight as you possibly can. And what I learned over a little bit of time <laughs> that I've been cutting cake is like just kind of go around instead of going like completely across like that kind of like line around the edges so that you know that it's like at least even on the edges and then that's much easier for you to then go in through the center like that and then you're just going to completely there you go and it's completely um, unattached and we've already done this other one here. It's already also cut. And what I'm going to do is, since I have both of the layers on here, I'm just going to take like a little, uh, what is this called, like a scraper. Um, and I'm going to, just to help me lift it, and I'm going to place it on the other layers. And we're going to go ahead and take our buttercream. Our peanut butter buttercream. And we're just going to go ahead and frost this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and toss another layer on top and continue to frost this until we reach the last layer. All right, so I finished frosting each layer and next I'm just gonna go ahead and add on some shaved chocolate onto the very top and so I'm just spreading it around just to make it look pretty give it an extra layer of yumminess and this is vegan friendly and this is dark chocolate and I just kind of like shaved it with my um, carrot peeler all right And then for some even more added prettiness, I'm just adding some like chunks of chocolate, like some bigger chunks of chocolate. And there we have it. All right guys, you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. Please do not mind my hair. I did it this morning, went out in the rain to go pick up my son from school. And it's like, look me, I'm saying hi. And then this happens to the hair. So, um, anywho, let's go ahead and taste this thing. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. You guys, I don't even have a sweet tooth, but this tastes exactly like a Reese's peanut butter cup. Right, Mia? Mia has been eating this cake like non-stop since I made it. Do you like this cake? Uh-huh. Is it really good or is it a little bit good? Uh, I, I, I love this. It's a lot good. <laughs> I was hoping she didn't say a little good. She's been eating a lot of it. So anyways, you gotta try this out. It's super yummy. And let me know what you think. So that's it you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes. Hashtag Let's get veggie and hashtag veggie rose. 
I would love to see what you made and love to know what you think about what you made. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.